4.5, practice graphing polynomials in factored form. So we're given the highest degree, or just the degree, and leading coefficient of a polynomial. So normally you'll see, you'll see some other terms here, but this is only naming our, um, basically our leading coefficient and the highest degree. So we're going to identify the number of solutions and then make a sketch of the following. We also want to describe the end behavior next to the ends of the graph. So here we're given 2x to the fifth. And so it's asking for the number of solutions. And so the number of solutions, possible solutions we could have is the degree, which is five in this case. Now we're looking at what is the degree? We really want to know is it even or odd and whether the leading coefficient is positive or negative. This helps us in our end behavior of the graph. So the degree that number is five, which is an odd number, and the leading coefficient is positive, so therefore it goes in opposite directions, and we can think about this as a positive slope. So it would, the ends would look like this, it goes up on the right and down on the left, and then currently we don't know anything else in the middle, so we'll just leave that blank for now, it could do various things in the middle. Now let's label the ends. So on the right, I'm gonna write it as x approaches positive infinity. So we're looking at as the arrow is going to the right, it's always the same for our x values. We're looking at what's happening to our y's, and since the y's are going up, then it is positive infinity. Now on the left side, so that is as x approaches negative infinity, right, our x values are getting more negative here. The y's, the direction is down, so therefore y is approaching negative infinity as well. So letter B, Number of solutions is six. Again, just looking at the exponent. The degree is, is an even number. The leading coefficient is negative. So that tells us that our ends will go down and down. So let's label it as x approaches negative infinity. Our y values are approaching negative infinity. On the right, as x approaches positive infinity, y's are going down, so negative infinity again. Letter C, we have negative 4x to the third power. Number of solutions is 3. That degree is odd, right? 3 is an odd number. The leading coefficient is that sign in the front, which is negative. So our ends are going in opposite directions, meaning up on the left and down on the right. We can think about like a pause, I'm sorry, a negative slope. And then labeling the ends as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity because it's going up. And on the right side, as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity because it's going down. Now our last example here, 7x to the 4th, so number of solutions is 4, uh, that our degree is even, the leading coefficient is positive, so it tells us the ends go up and up. So we'll label it as x approaches negative infinity. So on the left side of the graph, y approaches positive infinity. It's going up. Then on the right side of the graph, as x approaches infinity, y is also approaching infinity.